After a cat gets the I-131 radioactive iodine, it will usually take about six to eight weeks for the T4 to settle into mid-normal range and become stable. Well, not everything happens quite that way. So you have to do proper testing. Now some vets will tell you that since it takes six to eight weeks before things are stable, there's no need to retest at 30 days. But there are two reasons why it is very important, I would say critical, to test at 30 days. One is because you want to see how the kidneys are responding so far. You'd like to catch a problem before it becomes a problem. Well, when maybe just a little bit of extra water <laughs> makes the difference. And you want to see the pattern. When you retest at 30 days, odds are the T4 will be right at the edge, the bottom edge of normal, or just a tad below. That's the most common. It might be mid-normal, yay, if it's stable. <laughs> might still be very low. Might even still be too low to read. Also might still be high. Let's start with that one. It's, in some respects, the least complicated. A lot of people panic you know, thinking, oh my gosh, the 131 didn't work because the T4 hasn't come down much. Or maybe it hasn't come down at all. And some clinics will start telling you you need to go ahead and redo the 131 now. No. Some cats are slow. And the truth is... Having the T4 come down slowly over a period of two or three months is the ideal. You never go into the hypo range, which is what can put stress on the kidneys. So, if possible, it would be best to have, you know, do the 131 in a way that makes the T4 drop slowly. Um, very, very few clinics, like one or two, <laughs> do the dose tailoring so finely that they have a reasonable chance of getting that to happen intentionally. Norma otherwise, it's just luck. But if the T4 hasn't come down much or enough or whatever, don't panic. Wait and retest and find the pattern. It can take six months for T4 to stabilize. In a few cats, <laughs> 12 months. So you have to pay attention. You have to be patient. Now, the more common. Let's say T4 is low end of normal, just below normal, you look at the creatinine, the kidney number. Don't, don't worry about bun, that's not the big deal. Creatinine. If it is fairly stable, maybe coming up just a bit, things are fine. If all is good, then you retest in 90 days after the 131. So, if creatinine is coming up a little too much, you retest in another 30 days. So, 60 days after the 131. And by testing at 30 days, first of all, <laughs> you figure out whether or not to test at 60 or 90. And when you do the second test, you see direction. 
you know is the T4 actually coming up? Is it coming down? You have two points to compare. Pattern. Sometimes individual numbers are critical, but you cannot take your eyes off of pattern, relationships. Now, what if the cat is hypo long enough for it to be a problem? And that is a risk. If the kidneys are weak, or if the cat stays hypothyroid, then you're going to end up uh, needing levothyroxine or a similar you know, thyroid hormone substitute. That's not, don't go, oh my gosh, I, you know, things are bad. No, this is still an improvement. I'll get to that. General guide. And these are, the, you know, for the scale for the U.S., but if the creatinine gets over 2.5, I would seriously consider starting a thyroxine supplement. You may have trouble getting your vet to agree. There are still way too many vets who think that low thyroid is not a problem. And even when creatinine starts going up, they will refuse to believe that the low thyroid is the cause. Failure to believe that is essentially delusional, but <laughs> humans are good at being delusional. Now, with a little luck, if T4 is still coming up, you can get off the levothyroxine eventually. Maybe on it lifetime. And that is far, far better than having the tumor that causes the one the hyperthyroidism. Because as long as it's there, that tumor messes with the system and it continues to grow, and there is a risk that it will become malignant. A small risk, but the longer a cat is hyperthyroid, the more risk there is. It's never a big risk, but dang, you don't want it to happen. So having a cat that is hypothyroid and needs levothyroxine after the 131 is a healthy cat. It is a successful cure. Be happy with it. Now, the complicated version is a thing called subclinical hypothyroidism. And that is when the T4, or what they call total T4, gets into the lower half, half or third of normal. And yet the creatinine keeps going up and the cat maybe is having some issues. Well, you check free T4. And maybe you check TSH. But free, you know, quite often T4 will be low normal. Free T4 will be below normal. That is subclinical hypothyroidism. Uh, you check the TSH, which is the thyroid stimulating hormone, to see whether or not the body is asking for more T4. If the TSH is high, but the T4 is staying low, that tells you the body's producing all the T4 that it can, so likely this is where things are going to stay. In the groups we have seen subclinical hypothyroidism where TSH is normal. So some of the things you'll read say that you only treat subclinical if free T4 is low, creatinine is up, and TSH is high. I would not depend on the TSH. I would simply go by 
what the T4, free T4, and creatinine indicate. And again, if creatinine gets over 2.5, you start thinking about levothyroxine. Uh, if it's over 3.5, I would not pause, hesitate. I would get on thyroxine uh, essentially immediately. <laughs> Which doesn't mean that hour, but it means within a few days. Not because the cat is going to suddenly crash, but just because, well, that pretty well establishes what you need to do, and there's no point in letting things get worse before you start making them better. And you continue to retest, much like when using methamazole, until you get at least two consecutive tests in the mid-normal ideal range. Then you can pretty much say things are stable. Doesn't mean they can't change because cats are weird. But that is pretty much when you figure you have the right balance. So with a little luck you go six to eight weeks, you get a perfect result and it's smooth sailing from there. If it's coming down slowly, don't worry. If it's slow to come up, look at the creatinine. Use thyroxine if needed. It's, <laughs> it's not really that complicated. And overall, it's really not that serious. You just have to test and pay attention. And don't let anybody tell you to put the testing off. Testing tells you what you need to do. Okay. I think I've covered most of the post-131 things in the last couple of videos now. Not sure I've covered them well enough, but I think I've covered them. So if you have questions, put them in the comments. Hope you'll click the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Please be sure to share and tell your friends. And I will be talking to you later. When it comes to cats, there's definitely plenty to talk about. So long.